everyone this is Rachel welcome to another video tutorial in today's tutorial I will show you how I make my own mini book or mini album and in the final project that you see here I will show you how we start off with a double page spread and then we end up cutting or printing it in half so that you can end up with the left side of the page and the right side of a page so that you can add into a mini book for the supplies that I will use today, I am using the new She Mini Art Journal Kit by Crafty Button Designs. First, I'm going to begin by creating a new layer, and I'm going to change the width to 10 inches by 7 inches, and I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm just going to create a new guide and I'm going to choose 5 inches and this is so I can see the direct center of my paper. Next I'm going to pull in my first pattern paper and I'm just going to hold down the side corner handles and just move it into position. And next I'm going to choose my second pattern paper which is this golden brick color. And I'm also going to reposition and just move it um, into proper place on the page. I'm also going to change the blend mode to lighter color. And that's so I can have both the pink and the brick paper to show. Next I'm going to pull in my third pattern paper and again I'm just going to resize it and I'm also going to change the blend mode on this one to hue and that's just going to give me some pretty blues and pinks and just mix all the colors together. Next I'm going to pull in this painted border and then I'm going to change the blend mode to hard light and that's just going to lighten it up for me. Next I'm going to make a copy or duplicate of the layer and then I'm going to move that um, second copy towards the bottom of the page and I'm going to change the blend mode to hue and that's just giving me some more texture and interest. Next I'm going to pull in this hexagon stitch I'm going to move it to the left top side of the page. I'm going to resize it to fit and just fiddle with the positioning a little bit. Then I'm just going to add a small stitch border or drop shadow, excuse me, and I'm going to duplicate this layer again and I'm going to move that down to the bottom right hand of the page. And I'm only building up interest and texture at this point. Next I'm going to pull in the painted overlay. I'm just going to resize that and position it where I want to on the page. And I'm going to change the blend mode to screen and that's just going to give me a white background. Next I'm going to pull in the hand drawn face and I'm going to just resize and put that on the right side of my page and just reposition it a little bit. And I know I want to color my face and so I'm just pulling in a few swatches that um, I got from Photoshop color swatches. I just chose three browns so that I can add some shading and some realistic highlights to the face. And to color in the face I'm first going to choose my magic wand tool and just click on the face itself. Next I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and grab the lightest brown color and I'm going to go to layer, new layer and fill it with solid color. And so I have the first light brown color. I want to add some blending options and I'm just going to move this out of the way so I can show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to select inner glow and then I'm going to select the color picker. And I'm going to move that out of the way again. And this time I want to choose the medium brown or the brown that's in the middle. 
and this color I'm gonna click OK this color is just gonna add some highlights so I want to change the source to center and then I want to choose the pixel size of 250 next I'm gonna move into inner shadow I'm gonna change the blend mode to linear burn and from my color picker I'm now going to choose the third darkest brown and I want to change the opacity to about 45 percent and I want to change the size to 100 pixels and there that just adds a little bit of color and shading to the face so I'm choosing my magic wand tool again and selecting the neckline I'm also just going to change the color to the lighter brown and I'm going to repeat the steps and fill with solid color I'm just going to rename the layer and I'm selecting the face layer and I'm choosing copy layer style and I'm going to just paste the same attributes to the neckline so that I don't have to retype everything again so now that my hand drawn face has some color I'm going to duplicate the layer and I'm really just trying to add some more depth and dimension I'm trying so that the hand-drawn face does not look flat and so with the first copy of the hand-drawn face I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge and I'm going to change the opacity to 10 percent and then with the top layer of the hand-drawn face I'm going to change the blend mode to linear burn and that's just going to make it so that the face looks more real and it adds more shadows and it just adds more depth to the image and finally I'm going to pull in the beautiful word art onto my page I'm going to move this over to the left side and I'm also going to size it down a bit and then just reposition it until it's in the perfect spot and there you have it our layout is complete next we are going to prep the PSD file so that we can separate it or cut it um, into the left side of the page versus the right side of the page I'm going to go to layer and flatten image and that's going to collapse all of the layers in the layers panel on the right side of the page and just making it one main image and that's really going to be helpful to us because when we grab the image and separate it into the left side of the page or the right side of the page we know that all the layers um, that we had put in all of the pattern paper all of the overlays all of that will be merged so I'm going to select my marquee tool and then I'm going to change the style and I'm going to choose fixed size next I'm going to change the width to 5 inches and I'm going to change the height to 7 inches now I'm just going to position my marquee tool to begin at the upper leftmost corner and I'm going to just click and get the marching ants around the left side or the left page next I'm going to go to layer new layer via copy and so that's going to create a new layer which I will rename to left side in the layers panel and now I'm just going to select the background layer and repeat the same steps for the right side of the page and with the marching ant selected I'm going to go to new layer and layer via copy and now that's going to create the right side of my paper and so next I just want to begin to hide the visibility of some of the layers so I can begin to print so I'm leaving the left side visible next I'm going to go file print and I'm just going to open up the print dialog box so you can see it better and I'm just going to move my paper into the center so that it prints exactly the left side paper for me and that's it the left side is printing I'm going to open the visibility of the right side and I'm going to go back to file and print and I'm going to just move the paper directly in the center and choose print 
So I purchased this sketchbook at a local store and it measures six by eight and once the prints came out of the printer I just glued them down um, and created my mini book. So I hope you like this tutorial and you got inspired. Please remember to click rate and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, see you next time. Thank you.